Hi there, in this video we're going to learn about the Cartesian plane. You've already learned about flow diagrams and together with this introduction we will be able to represent input and output on a Cartesian plane and eventually sketch graphs. So let's learn some terminology and how to plot points. First off, we have an axis or two or more axes. So this is an axis and these are axes. We have an x-axis and a y-axis. Your x-axis is your horizontal line and that represents the inputs. Whereas your y-axis is your vertical line and that represents your output. If we talk about x-intercepts, we talk about numbers on the x-axis. Think about your x-axis as a number line where we are going up in 1s and 2s and 3s or from 0 we can go down to minus 1. Your y-axis is also like a number line and your y-intercepts are on your y-axis. So we have the number 1, 2 and if we were to go backwards 2, 1, 0 and then down to minus 1. Now I haven't labeled 0 yet because I want to talk about that specifically as a point called the origin. The origin or this point where your x-axis and your y-axis intersect is where x is 0 and y is 0. And we write that as a coordinate saying the input or x value is 0 and the output or y value is also 0. Your Cartesian plane is divided into four quadrants through these two lines. Okay, there are four areas called quadrants. And within a, on the axes, within the quadrants or on the axes, we have coordinates. We've already looked at the coordinate 0, 0, but it's important to realize that x or the input is the first part of the coordinate and y or the output is the second part of the coordinate because that will help us to plot the correct points. And let's now have a look at how we will plot the points 2, 1. Let's just get rid of some words so we've got some space. The point 2, 1 is over here. It is because if you start at the origin and you move x 2 across to this point over here and then you move from that point 1 up. So let's have a look at how we get there. Always start at the origin and then move in the direction of x and then in the direction of y. So starting at the origin, 2 across and 1 up. And that is the point 2, 1. All right, we're going to plot some points on a Cartesian plane or set of axes. Let's plot the point 1, 3. So we're going to start at the origin and we're going to move in the x direction 1 and the y direction 3. x direction 1, y direction 3. And write your coordinates. What about the point minus 1, 3? We start at the origin, but we're going to move backwards to minus 1 and then 2, 3 and write your coordinates. What about 1 and minus 3? Again, start at the origin, move 1 and minus 3. And the point 3, 1, is that the same as the point 1, 3? No. Here you moved your x 1 forward, now you're moving your x 3 forward. All right. Notice how the points are different, and that is why it is important to know what to do first or second. Can you pause the video and plot the points minus 3 and 1? Right, did you get the right point? Let's have a look at some more points, the point 0, 5. When x is 0, it means, again, starting at 0, don't move across. Move 0 units across, so you are staying where you were, and now you're going to move up 5 to get your points. By contrast, 5, 0 means, again, starting at 0, move 5 across, and then don't move up or down. Can you plot your next point? Did you get it right? And your last point? Did you get that right? If you did, well done. Now I've got some points for you to plot. So draw up a set of axes and plot these points. Pause the video and when you're ready to look at the answers, you can check your work. I hope you've done well and I hope you've understood.